Hey everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play Minecraft video. Hope you guys are all doing good. Today we're on episode 58. I can't believe we're almost to 100, guys. We got we got a little ways to go still, but we are getting there. So today we find ourselves in the nether. One thing I want to start doing in our world is I want to start working on making uh, some sort of wither pad or something to get better wither spawns because we do not have that in our world right now and... I want to start putting beacons down and fighting withers because I'm out there bouses and I like fighting bouses. There we go. So, um, I've actually did a bit of research on the whole, you know, what is the most efficient way to get withers to spawn. Uh, is there another one around here? Is he up? Hello, sir. I, I would like to meet you. You can meet my arrow. There we go. Whoa. All right, let's not walk off the edge and say we did. Now, here's the thing. We have a couple different options. Now, the one thing you should know about wither spawns is that the most common area for a wither to spawn is here, here, well, from inside this box right here, basically. Um, these are the high, highest designated spawning areas of withers so with that being said the more intersections we can find in one spot the better so um i mean there's one intersection up there let's go down here there it looks like there's uh one and then two this right here would sort of be perfect because it looks like there i don't think this counts I think it'd be, so we'd have like, almost like three or four right next to each other. And there's a wither in here. Come here, wither, wither, wither. Uh, yeah. So, what I want to do is I want to essentially uh, flatten most of this out. Uh, I would like to get rid of the tower, get rid of this pathway, you know, down to a certain point. And I know withers can spawn on nether rack. Uh, it's kind of a rare occasions that they do. But what we can do is we brought a bunch of cobblestone. So we can almost flatten this area out with cobblestone. So we know for a fact that they're not going to spawn. Um, so I think the first thing that we should do is probably figure out where exactly we're going to make this. So... Um, I think what we should do is, um, let's see, I, I would probably want to mark it about right there. Probably one on the outside of each one of these. Uh, actually, we're going to go all the way through. So that'll continue. And I don't think that is considered a junction. So I don't think that'll make a difference. So just like that. So... And then we'll continue it over to here. And we'll build this out a little bit because we can, we'll have plenty of uh, a brick. There we go. There we go. Probably go back one more just to continue the theme. So two, just like so. And just something I think like that spawn right there will probably be efficient enough to get decent spawns. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make pathways on every side of this and make it to where when the mobs spawn inside, they'll, uh, you know, we can hit a pigman, they'll come and kill us or we'll kill them, but they can't kill us. You know what I'm saying? Like have two high, three high, whatever. Uh, make it one lower than it needs to be. Kill these guys. Dude, this bow is OP, by the way. Love it. Love it. Okay, so, um... I brought a bunch of stuff with me. The first thing that I need to do is I need to kind of, I need to get this cleared out and we are going to flatten this area a bit and then we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of work on it. All right, so I have been uh, just working on an outline of border. Uh, so exactly what we want to do, a nice bright border so we can see everything. Turn around and <laughs> already getting attacked by wither skeletons. There was one spawning up there and then there was one that spawned right here. Can we get him to come down here? Oh god, look at these guys. Yeah, there's definitely a... Uh, oh god, I thought that that was going to hit that pigman. 
<laughs> I've already got one Wither Skull, by the way. Let's get these guys to come after me. And wasn't there another one up there? No, that must have been him. Okay. So this is the area that we are going to focus on. Uh, I know it's kind of a small spawn pad, but uh, this would be the highest percentage chance uh, at any corridor for a mob to spawn. So I've got a two ring border around this entire thing. Um, so what I need to do now is um, slab, like slabs, <laughs> tons and tons of slabs. I also want to, um, I need to get some, need to get some health. Where's the other guy? <laughs> Whatever. Working in the nether, it's dangerous, it happens. Now, um, so we have, uh, we have this border, but we need to make sure that they, they can't, uh, get to us. So what we are going to do, uh, we have an option. We could, I mean, I have tons of blocks, but I, I guess the easiest would probably just be to finish the two wide border all the way around with the cobblestone. So I, I want to do that. That will stop any, um, any of the skeletons from getting us. That'll still keep pigmen, um, you know, that'll keep pigmen from getting us, but we can stop that as well. Uh, I guess we'll be, okay, here's what we'll do. We're going to extend this border, right? We'll extend the border by one, so that'll make it three. Then this front border, we'll put a, a half slab down just like so. So, but we'll need to have somewhere to get into. So maybe we'll put like a little door in right here so we can run it in. If we need to kill anything, we can do it like that as well. Um, yeah, I think that'll be a good update. So let me get that finished and then we'll come back and uh, see if there's anything else we might need to do. All right, so I have done a couple changes here. First off, I lowered the platform around the area that we are on. So no mobs can spawn on this. I kind of figured that might be important. I still need to put a wall around this entire thing. Uh, that way we don't fall off or get shot by other mobs. Um, once that's finished, then it's slab time. Right now, we need to make some doors. Um, probably just do fence gates. Probably be the easiest. We need three of them. I think it's like this. Yep. Maybe like that. There we go. So these will go here. And uh, I'm gonna leave the top of this open. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Um, yeah, so they'll spawn in here and whatever spawns in here will need to be killed, whether it's pigmen, whether it's blazes, no matter what. So we're gonna have to come in here and either kill, shoot, do something. Uh, I was I was trying, I was gonna cheat the system and try to just torch everything. But the problem with that is, is that if you torch everything, pigmen can still spawn. So that's a huge issue. So what I need to do now is I need to turn all of my, the rest of my remaining cobblestone into uh, slabs and just start covering everything. Like, uh, first off, I'll start with another fortress and um, go uh, in each direction as much as I possibly can. And then uh, the surrounding nether rack area will need to be finished too. I've got a bunch more cobblestone in the overworld, so I'll probably go grab that as well. But uh, I'm going to try to get a lot done right now. So I'll come back to you when I have a little bit of that finished. All right, guys. I have done, I think, as much as I can today. I'm kind of out of time. Now, are we getting any mob spawning over here? I did the I did most of the fortress, right? So let's see if we can find any mobs, because I'm not seeing any, like at all. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look around. I wonder where. Oh, I found another uh, blaze spawner too. Don't blow up my stuff, man. It's not cool, homie. Alright, so the mobs are definitely spawning outside the fortress. I, um... 
that I didn't have time to do any parts of the outside fortress, so there could just as easily be, like, uh, just as easily be, you know, spawns there, too. Now, for those of you who don't know why this is all like this, um, consider each one of these, uh, slabs like a little tiny bit of efficiency. Every time you place one down, the area that you're trying to focus on gets more and more efficient. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to block all mob spawns except for on that pad now. But we're not getting any spawns there, which kind of makes me nervous. But at the same time, I haven't done, you know, any of this or other parts. So I was just trying to see if I could see where any mobs might be spawning. Nothing over there. All right, let's go back down to our pad and see if we got anything. Uh, nothing yet. Wow. Can I get to the surface? I can't even get to the surface. I'm so dead. No. All of my stuff. <laughs> Why? <sighs> that, my friends, was a tragedy. I just made that bow and that armor. I'm sad. I don't want to play anymore. Oh. On fire. Wow, respawned here, huh? I didn't think, I thought you respawned back in the nether. Oh. No. So bad. No. I don't. I'm, uh, I'm sad. I'm so sad. Man. Oh well. I went and got some XP. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Three, two, one. All right, guys, I went and got some XP. We're going to do some enchanting. Apparently, Luna decided to follow me over here. Okay. So we haven't, we haven't even had a chance to use this yet. Uh, I hope I have brought enough. I'm just going to, I basically have to do whatever. I guess, uh, well, I guess protection four would be okay. Protection four, I'm breaking... So far, so good, actually. We're actually getting decent enchantments. I never get decent enchantments. Wow. Look at me go. Oh, bye. I'm breaking. That was Shredder. I'll take it. Fire protection. I could have used a fire protection earlier. <laughs> I can't believe I died, dude. I'm so mad about that. I'm salty. The salt is real. Yeah, let's get the enchanted stuff out of the way. So we have these four. Uh, Bane of Arthropods. Fire Protection. Efficiency 3. Efficiency 3. Alright, I'll do the shovel with Efficiency 3. Thick Axe. Unbreaking 3. Protection 4. Okay. Sharpness, why not? And, I mean, I can't ask for anything better than Fortune 3, so the pickaxe was probably the most important thing. Oh, God, I hate this armor. I hate it. I want my tools back, man. Oh, this is so bad. God, you don't understand. Like, that's a huge loss. It's so bad. Hi, kitty. Well, um, I have plans to do something, but I needed my armor. Not really. I don't think I need for it. I, I wanted to fight a wither today. That was the game plan. But there's not a chance in the world I can fight a wither now with the crappy armor that I have. I had already had one skull and I was working towards getting more. Uh, we just needed our, our efficiency or our little spawner thing to start working. But now I can't work on it anymore because I, I died. <laughs> I'm so mad about that. Okay guys, the game plan was to work on the sheep farm next. We really haven't been over here a lot, and uh, that is just because of one thing. I am having a block on how to do the interior of this. We have been working, we worked on this thing for a while, 
Uh, we got the one side is, com was co is completely up and running. Well, this one is completely up and running, but it's easy from there because we just need to, you know, hook up the hoppers, which are right here. Now, the issue. Here's the issue. I'm having builders block on this thing major. I cannot figure out how I want to build this. So what I'm asking you guys is, in the comments section below, let me know what you think I should do. I'm pretty much up for anything. Now obviously I've uh, I've already kind of messed around with the Acacia theme here. Oh, cobblestone. Now I'm gonna need that. <laughs> I got food here too. Oh wow, I got all kinds of stuff here. I didn't realize half of this stuff was here. Anyways. Yeah, I'm having I'm having huge builders block in this area. And I really want to get the sheep farm up and going because we can use that stuff for different builds. Um I just I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it it's uh it's to the point to where it's kind of like, well, I come over here, look at it, and I'm like, um, um yeah, totally know what I'm doing. So, uh, with that being said, uh, what I was hoping you guys could do is help me out a little bit. Leave me some suggestions. What do you think I should do down here? Should I continue the Acacia theme or should I try something different? Let me know. So, I think that is going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, here's the thing about the ending of these videos. I don't ask you guys for likes, but the one thing I am going to start asking for is that if you enjoy these videos, I would hope that you would subscribe because it is very, very important that we build our subscriber base up. We, we get a lot of comments in the comment section saying, why do I have less views and, um, you know, like less views and you have like 300,000 subscribers. That is because a lot of my subscribers are dead. Um, when I started YouTube, I started a long time ago, 2010 ish. So a lot of people don't watch from YouTube, don't watch, you know, Minecraft anymore. So we need to bring in fresh subscribers. So if you are new here and you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm still not going to ask for likes because I feel like if you're going to like the video, you'll like the video. But subscribing, I feel like I should be okay to ask you guys. If you have an issue with that, leave a comment and let me know what's your issue and we can have an adult discussion about it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. This is iGevin. Peace out.